Hey everyone, it is the dude, yes, Astral, Astral, and more, Astral, just when you thought it was done, no, back to the well, back to the well, why not, it's just too wackadoodle a deck to just give up on, people do not like to see it, it is very hard to pilot, it's not hard to pilot, but it's hard to win, the win rate's in the gutter, but when you get the coin, it's pretty key. Got to have the coin, an astral, and an innervate. If you get those three cards, pretty much you're in. You're in like Flynn, but I had to throw some taunts in the deck because people are just getting on. They're catching on to my sheet nanigans. But let's see what happens right here. Let's see what he thinks about this. If I, must. If I must, and I must. Last time I checked, I must play astral. Two legends, one epic, one nobody. But the North Sea Kraken's good because it deals four damage, like on the battle cry, so that's really good. But right now he's deciding, do I concede or do I play? And no card played means he's not a happy camper, right? He's not a happy camper. I think he just wants to see what comes out next. Yeah, I'm probably going to concede right about here. Playing against Tycho X. Mm-hmm. Look at all these crazy shenanigans. Octasari is insane, but the best one is Ultimate Infestation. By far the best card in the deck now. Ysarge Rage used to be, but now that Ultimate Infestation is too too good. Gives me five cards, and then it's just game on. Oh, sweet. No problemo. We like dormant stuff. Why not? Will Ysera in the mix? I dream the world Who doesn't like a little bit of golden Ysera with the deal 5 damage across the board? Mmm, that's tasty. I will act as your skill. Oh, please do. Please do. Please do. I think we should board clear here. If we get an 8. If we get, a, if we get an 8, we're looking sweet. That's a 10. That's not really what we wanted. So now you have to ask yourself how you want to play this. And I think it's here. But I can also go here, clear the board, my keep my Ysera, slam the three to the face. Yeah, I think that's the way we're going to go here. Board, clear that out. Grab this. Bring it on in. Julia Sarah back up top. He's down to 11. And what do we get? The Emerald Drake. Unfortunately, we don't have any sevens except Malfurion. And even then, we would have to have an Innervate, so it never works. Emerald Drake has to get played on its own now. You can always con the Forgotten King and then Emerald Drake, but we're going to get a better card more than likely. So, doubt that's going to be the combo. Turn six. It's just like nasty. Right? What's he gonna do? That's not bad. Ooh, ooh, you did not want to get rid of your Blood Reaver Gul'dan. That's the price you pay for playing disco cards. Very, very naughty. I know you did not like that. And then you just sit. See what Ysera gets you. Both these cards get you through, plus you got the five. So, it's pretty much GG here. Don't know what he would have. Turn 7. Potentially he could take down the 7-7, seven, seven, but he can't touch the 12-12. So as long as I can get through the taunt, which I will be able to with the Ysera Awakens. Just a sick card. Might as well show you guys the golden Ysera cards that come out. That's pretty sick. And then the Emerald Drake is nasty. A four seven six dragon? Forget about it. So good. Could even play them both, plus the button for three. Oof. GG. Uh oh. Who do we get as a dragon? Oh. I didn't realize. That's not so good. Not so good for you. I don't think that's who he wanted. 
last time I checked. Was it GG time? Yeah, it's GG time. Well, that was fun. It's always fun. That it is. Mm-hmm. That's the way Astral goes. I'm sure Tycho X right now is asking himself, really? What just happened? Um, Astral just happened. I realize it's an old card, but you know, you gotta play Astral every now and again. Well, good luck out there as always. We'll see you next time.